What's up, Survivor Fanatics? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Subsistence. All right, I am getting ready to do a full day's grind, uh, but I wanted to record right now because I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago. I am going to take some of this, and I'm going to take some of this, and I'm going to take some of this, and we are going to go ahead and make a second generator. Uh, I should have done this a while ago. Like, using the overdrive on the generator is a complete waste of time. You just want to make a second generator if you want power quicker. Uh, I, I'm not going to place it right now because I, I honestly don't need to. Uh, but, yeah, I do want to make a second generator. I also have some tips that you guys gave me. Uh, people told me not to bother upgrading the rifle because I'm going to be using the lever action rifle. Uh, let's see, double barrel, lever action rifle. Okay. Uh, but that or the recurve bow. <laughs> I kind of feel like the lever action rifle would be more my speed because I suck with the bow, but I don't know. That's that's something that some people are making some comments about. Also, uh, double-barreled shotgun. Uh, I've been told not to bother upgrading the shotgun because you're just going to make the double barrel. What is this? Default. Oh. Oh, okay. uh, oh, do you have to, like... Oh, it's got camo. I'll bet you have to, like, use some research. I've never seen that before. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so the double-barreled shotgun. The problem with the double-barreled shotgun, I was told that... You know, if a, if a moose is charging at you, you just kill him without one shot. without Like the way I hunt, you know, I hit the moose twice with the rifle. And then I hit him once with the double barrel, uh, double barrel shotgun instead of twice with the pump shotgun. Sometimes three times. Uh, and people are saying, yeah, you know, um, then he's dead because it, it empties both barrels. But here's the thing. What if I miss? Or if I don't hit? I know it's a shotgun. It's kind of hard to miss. But what if I don't hit him properly and he lives? Now I've got no ammo in my shotgun. So I, I don't know about that. Um, I'm not going to upgrade anything right now. Uh, so but we'll kind of see uh, where we go with that because I was kind of wondering. Also, people, a lot of people told me if I take a foundation or some kind of building material and I put it over there, it will keep the hunters from spawning. I need to know. I don't need to know. I'm going to do it today anyway. But what do you guys think in the comments? Is that going to work? If I put a foundation like right there, is it going to keep them from spawning in that area? I guess theoretically it might, uh, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that. So why don't we just do that right now before I go out and grind? Sounds pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make one foundation. We're going to need some nails. Today is going to be, am I am I committing to it? Yes, today's going to be a building episode for sure. Uh, I, I, my original idea was to, you know, build over here and kind of enclose this area so I could check my fish traps while there's hunters over there. But hey, if I can keep them from spawning there at all... Uh, that would obviously be even better. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat that. Okay, I do have my drill going downstairs. Let's see how the power is working. Uh, we've got 0.18 in and 0.4 out. Now that 0.18 is because I'm over 500 power, so I think we'll be okay with that. I've got my drill going because the drill is really slow. And um, yeah, I want my drill to continue going. So I think one of our chickens is level 8. We need to feed those animals. I totally forgot. Yeah, let's do that now. Yeah, I was going to go out and grind, and I'm like, oh, I've got other things to do. I think my crops might be ready, too. So let's let's do those two things, and I will go out and do some farming. All right, so there we go. We'll take that. We'll take, uh, actually, can I put that back? Yeah, I'll leave that there for now. I obviously want this to be full. What did he give me, 20? Uh, damn it. it was, uh, no, almost 20. But does it give them the same it gives me? No, I think it gives them less. Didn't give him 22, because it was a 79. It would have been 89, 99. That would have been over 100, but... Alright, that's fine. You guys are looking good. That's another thing. I need to make the, um... I need to make the stove, dude. I've got all this stuff... By the way, I killed the boar that was close to my base. Um, I would have recorded it if it was going to be exciting, but I was just right next to my base. So it wasn't. Um, but yeah, pork chops. And um, I've got all this stuff that, you know, 17 eggs. I need to get that... <sighs> To get the, the, the stove up, but I really want to do a building episode first. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, let's go check our crops before I go out. Out in a boot, as my uh, my brethren from the north would say. All right, I think this one's done. Yep. Okay. How close is this? Not that close. All right, let's go ahead and pick all these. And this is my potato crops. I think I might also make another, Um, I don't know, it depends on how much building we do today, but I might make another one of these. It takes 10 wood, so I kind of prefer not to, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and check to see if I have any seeds. I should have checked before I went up there, but that's neither here nor there. Let's come over here, and there we go. And we've got... I don't see any... Wait, I only have one. Oh, that's right. I planted a bunch of these. 
Those are onions, carrots, medicinal. Okay, so there's no more. So we're going to need five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to come in here. And how much? Oh, that's pretty cheap. Okay. So one, two. Should I just do a third? We don't really need a third, so let's not. I will just keep these down. Oops. I will just keep these <laughs> down here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to plant all of these uh, potato seeds. And then I'm going to get out and do some grinding. Unbelievable. There's a hunter fishing right by my base. And I don't think he's a rogue hunter either. Uh, let me quickly take a look. I can't really see now because it's daytime. But I didn't see any fires in this area. He's like right there. He's like right there. I, I don't know why he's fishing there instead of the place they always fish at. Um, but yeah, I hope he goes away. I'm going to try and show you him without getting aggro. Uh, where the hell did he go? There he is. You see him? I hope you saw him because I'm not going anywhere close to him. Oh, man. See, he if he's from a proper hunter base um, and I get in a fight with him, they will revenge attack me and then I'll have to defend. Um, probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I'm going to try and avoid it because... Um, well, it, it, okay, let me ask you this. If he's from a hunter base and they revenge attack, do they have a chance of dropping parts? Like, gun parts? The thing is, though, like, if, if there's going to be, like, a revenge attack, you really can't go far at all to, like, hunt. Because, like, like let's say I go out to farm, right? And then they start revenge attacking me. It'll say, oh, you're under attack. And, um, and then, like, I got to try and come home. And he, all right, he's going away. See? If he spotted me, even if he didn't shoot at me and I didn't shoot at him, I still could be uh, under a possible revenge attack. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I, I think I get the gun parts if they if they, if they I kill them, which is cool. The problem is a lot of times they attack at night and I can't freaking see them. Man, I am really low on shotgun shells, dude. I don't know, man. That double-barreled shotgun sounds dope with the firepower, but, you know, if you don't kill what's coming at you... You're kind of caught with your, you know, your dick in your hands, right? Uh, so, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I'm going to hope he didn't, like... I mean, he didn't, like, run around or shoot or anything, so... I'm assuming he didn't notice me or whatever, but... Eh, I don't know, man. It's gonna be a little tense. Alright, here we are, and I've been doing a lot of work. I put down the second generator and started it. So, even though I've got a lot of stuff running, I'm losing almost one power... Uh, per tick, I'm getting 2.47 with those two generators and the wind turbine. Not getting much out of the solar panels, but that's the cool thing about the wind turbine. Usually when the solar panels are useless, the wind turbine kicks in. Like, if, if it becomes cloudy, it usually becomes windy as well, which is really, really nice. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead. I, I wasn't sure what to work on. There's a couple things I wanted to work on. I could have expanded the base this way, maybe expanded the base down, or I could have come out front and finished up the porch um honestly i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this porch i'm probably just gonna put foundations on and just make it just like this except all the way around um i, I will probably also leave this the way it is because you got oh by the way one of my chickens hit level 10 so i took him out and killed him and as soon as that as soon as that rabbit hits level 10 i'm gonna do the same thing to him and then i'm gonna make an animal trap so uh yeah i think i'm gonna leave it like this because you guys told me like you're you're your creatures really aren't in that much danger. So I'm going to leave it like this. The idea is they could go down there and get a drink or something, even though they, they won't. I know they won't, but, you know, it's just kind of a little bit of role play that I like to do. I'm going to run out here really quick. Make sure that guy's not fishing right by my base again. I don't know why he came over here. That's so weird. That is really, really odd. But I haven't seen him since. But, I mean, man, that makes me nervous. But then again, what doesn't make you nervous in this game? So anyway, um, so I could have expanded out the back. I could have expanded up the porch or on the porch. But I think I'm actually going to work on the roof. Um, I want to expand the amount of grow plots I have down. And my grow plots got to be on the roof. I'm running out of room on what I have set up on the roof already. As soon as I pick, grab this last chest, I will go up there and... Uh, is it September? No, it's not even close to September. What am I thinking about? Man, two freaking... Two of these guys here. All right, I got to stay focused. You know, by the way, not killing these guys is is not a good move. I should kill them. I should stop what I'm doing and go kill them. But I want to stay focused and get this get this building done. So it's a little bit less efficient, but I want to get done what I want to get done. So hopefully we'll see him again later. All right, so we're going to come up here. And uh, so let's go on the roof, and let me show you what I'm thinking about on the roof. 
Go up on the roof. Up on the roof. Alright, so... Like I said, I want to put more grow plots, and I'm pretty much out of space at this point. You know? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, we're going to make a roof up here with like a flat... It's going to be like a slanted roof, but it's going to have one flat... It's going to have a couple flat areas. I could go up twice with the roof, and have one flat area along the way. But I kind of like the idea of the roof. You know what? It really doesn't matter right now how we do it. Let's just put down what we got, and we'll see how we like it. Alright, so this will go right here, like so. This one has to be moved because it's going the wrong way. Right, here we go. I'm going to go stop that generator, by the the, the generators, by the way. They, um, I think they've done everything they need to do for now. Well, maybe not, because I will be losing power without them. Uh, what's taking... Ooh. Oh, because it went over 500. What's taking most of the power is this thing, but I need that iron. I'm going to turn these off for now. And now we're at... Oh, yeah. See, that's going to run out quick. Here, let's just turn one on. Yeah, okay. That's that's better. All right, cool. It's nice to have the extra power, but you don't always need the extra power. All right, so let's come up here. So do I, do I really want three across here, or do I want one across? All right, let's do this. So this is the one way I was looking at it. And then that'll give me plenty of room up here for solar panels, for wind turbines, for crops. Uh, if I go up with one more roof piece, this will be a roof piece. And then this will be a roof piece. And then I'll only have the middle part. I think it would look cooler, but it's also a lot less... It's also a lot less space. But I think it might be enough space where it might be worth it. No, I'm going to leave it like this. I like it like this. This was my gut instinct. Screw it. We're going to stick with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the corner piece down here. All right. And then we're going to put a corner piece. If I can jump on here, please. We're going to put a corner piece right here. And then I have to figure out how I would like to get up here. And I don't have to figure it out because I already got it worked out in my brain. I just have to build it. So we'll put this right here. Come on. There we go. And I don't have one for over here, but that is A-okay. All right, so the way we're going to get up. Um, we're going to have one and a half foundations, which is a bit of a pain. All right. But I have a way around it, I think. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these half walls. Okay. And while that's being made, I'm going to move this stuff down from up there. So let's come on up here and let's start moving this stuff down. Please press end and not delete. That would be wonderful. I've seen a lot of... Um, oh, by the way, the developer just put out a um, a new trailer for this game. Man, oof, what a freaking trailer. Like, what a freaking trailer. It just made me want to go play the game right there on the spot. It was an unbelievable trailer. And what I've noticed, uh, it, I think it's mostly the hunter bases, is they like to put their, their plant beds on balconies. Now, the reason I don't put my plant beds on balconies is because the balcony has a wall right next to it. You know, like a balcony of a door going out on a balcony. So a good, I don't know, uh, 180 degrees, it has an open sky. But the other 180 degrees, it has a wall. And that's bad for your grow plots, isn't it? Like, you don't want your grow plots uh, having 180 degrees of, of shade. isn't it? Doesn't that mean it's going to get less light? Is that just the, the developer building the bases to look cool and it doesn't matter how effective they are? Because I would love to put my grow beds on... Um, I would love to put my grow beds on a uh, on a balcony. I think that'd be so dope. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this. You know what? Why don't we do... Why don't we do it? it doesn't matter because I'm going to be moving these anyway. Uh, so we'll just put them right here. Um, I would love to put my grow beds on a balcony, but I'm pretty sure it's going to block light and m cause them to grow slower. So I, I'm not. I don't think I want. I, I don't think I want to do that because of that reason. But I kind of want to do it because I think it would look really cool. Uh, so yeah. Um, and I know what you can do with the grow plots is you can you can get a grow light um, addition on them. I, I forget what it's called. An upgrade. You can get like a, a a grow light upgrade. And the grow light upgrade will be a. Um, it'll just be here. Check it out. It'll be a. It'll, well, it'll be a grow light, and then it'll grow all the time. Uh, but I've always been told, don't bother with that. Just make more plant beds. <laughs> so, because that takes power, you know. But man, maybe maybe when I get really really to the point where power is not an issue, maybe I will add those grow lights and put them. Because I think they I think they would look so dope. 
like on a balcony, like no joke. Um, so that's just kind of what I was thinking about with that. Okay, here we go, our fourth plant bed. And we're gonna grow some onions. I believe liver and onions is something that I was going to want. Uh, onions, onions, where is my... I had another uh, seed for, for tomatoes. Um, yeah, liver and onions, I believe, was, was a good crop uh, that I was using a lot back in the day. So I'm going to want to, or last time I played, uh, so I'm definitely going to want to plant some of that as well. So, you know, is this getting 100% light? Uh, is there, like, something supposed to show you how much light it's getting? I don't know where it is. Was it in, up oh, it's right here. Well, 100%, but that's right next to a, yeah, that's weird. It, it also might depend on where the, um, where the sun is in the sky, too. All right, so we need to move some more of this stuff around, and I gotta figure out how I'm going. I know how I'm gonna get up here. You know what? Why don't we do the Why don't we do the way I'm gonna get up here first? Okay. Now, do I want to get up there? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get up there in the middle. All right. So this is this is where I'm gonna get up there, and that's where this half wall is gonna come in. All right. So we're gonna grab this, and that should be where I want it to be. Yes. Okay. And then we're gonna go grab a ceiling block. And I got lots of them up here, which is great. But I, I've said this a lot of times. I'm going to say it again. Thank you for letting us move everything around. Unbelievable. Just every single survival survival game should allow you to move stuff like this game does. All right. So we're going to put this right here. I hope this works. I I, I don't know if it's going to, uh, to be perfectly honest. But we'll just kind of have to see. All right. Then we're going to move this one out of the way. I guess I could have just moved this one down here, but it, it is what it is. I'll just put that right there for now. And then we're going to move this one as well. And again, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I'm just going to kind of have to fiddle around with it and see. I've never built like this before, so. Okay. And there we go. And then we'll put this thing right here. Uh, six. No, not there. Right there. Um, turn it around. No, actually, I kind of like... Well, no, I like it in the front. All right. Is that going to work? I have no idea. It's going to work here, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to get up on that. that that's the problem. Uh, well, you know what? I don't really need these ceiling pieces anymore. Once I have a roof. So, let's get rid of this ceiling piece. Okay. And then we put a little uh, staircase there. Um... Yeah, let's use one of these. It's cheaper. Although these do look better. How much cheaper is it? Eh, it's, mm, you know, I'm gonna do the one that looks better. And then we're gonna we're gonna move some walls down there and kind of close that in. I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the rest of this. Uh, like more so over here. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it over here. All right, let's. Uh, oh, these are all windows and stuff. Those aren't full walls, and I'm gonna want them to be full walls. Okay, so we're going to have to make a couple walls. Not a problem. Three walls coming up. Alright, there's a level 10 rabbit. So let's go ahead and grab his ass and see what he gives us. Kill. Butcher. Okay, so we've got some reared rabbit meat. Uh, three cloth and three fat. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We need to set up that animal trap. But before we do that, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what I got going on here. This place is a little bit of a mess, but I've got a plan in my head. It's it's all controlled chaos. Um, it should work out just fine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that in there, that in there. Oh, go down there. I really need to get the stove, like, for real. For realsies. Ooh, 13. All right, well, what are you going to do? All right, so I got this that comes up here. This goes up here. All right. Now, I had a little bit of a problem here on the corner. There's no inverted, like, corner piece that I can see. Uh, you know, yeah, as far as roof pieces goes, you got the roof, roof slanted and roof curved. But we need an inverted roof, like one that comes in, you know. Uh, but I think what I got here is, is pretty cool. I mean, you know, it, it looks pretty cool. I, I think it's about the best I can do. Um, and, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Now, this is going to uh, be, this right here is going to be, like, kind of like, um, almost like a tower. All right, this right here is just going to stay open. This is all going to be open. Around here, probably about right here, I'm going to put a doorway. And then right here is going to be a little lookout tower that I can kind of shoot at enemies from. Uh, not today, but that's kind of what I'm looking at in the future. Now, as far as going backwards is concerned, I have no idea how I want to do this, this part going that way. 
Uh, that's so far off in the future, I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and put some roof pieces down. And kind of solidify this so uh, we don't have a draft inside the base. Alright, so we got this right here. There we go. Like, a, a, ultimately, the ultimate design is this entire base is going to be going all the way across to the other side. Uh, it's, I'm going to have a lot of room. It's going to be, it's going to be quite roomy and expensive. Mostly roomy though. All right. There we go. And we put that one right there. All right. So that part's done. Okay. And we are starting to, uh, run out of wood, which is, uh, unfortunate. Uh, nails as well. Right. Anybody fishing over here? I don't see anyone fishing. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead. I put the way I did this is I put these half pieces in. So I kind of go right here, go like that, and there's a half piece. And I got to get up on this side, by the way. And then I put another half piece right here. I think it looks pretty cool, you know. Uh, I just don't know why we don't have an inverted roof piece. Maybe there is one and I'm missing it. I, I didn't see it, though. Okay, so let's come out here and let's take a look at what we've got. See how it's looking. Um, I don't have a lot of materials left. <laughs> Almost no materials left. As a matter of fact, while I come out here, why don't we go ahead and grab some water as well. There we go. Okay. And let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, that's going to look really good. That's gonna look it's going to look like a really good base when all said and done. It's a little messy now, but... Honestly, this part doesn't even look that messy. It looks pretty dope. Okay. So, I guess we're just going to spend the rest of our stuff on um, on roof pieces at this point, I think. I, I should have plenty of ceiling pieces. Actually, I know I have plenty of ceiling pieces. So, I think roof pieces are the way to go. And we're going to need at least one, two, three, uh, four. So, we are not we don't have enough for four. Oh, we do. Okay. Well, I'm still not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> let's get some more ceiling pieces up here. The reason I have so many ceiling pieces is because this whole part right here, all this ceiling is going to come out. So, like, I can grab this ceiling piece right here. Not a problem. And then we will... Oh, I can't get up in the middle. That's right. I forgot about that. My middle piece is gone. And this is going to disappear any second now. So let's just put it somewhere... Don't forget, if you go too far away from the original placement of the item, it will uh, just click back into place. So, can't really do that. Alright, and then we'll do this. And I think one more ceiling piece up here will be it for the ceiling pieces. I'm glad I have a lot of ceiling pieces. That's really, really, really nice. Because don't forget, this entire floor I'm standing on is going to be all ceiling pieces. And once I do that, I can move all the foundations down to the bottom. See, I've got like a, I've got a build in my mind. It's built in my brain. It's just, um, you know, working out the little, the little details and stuff. And, um, yeah, I think we'll do like that. Working out the small details and, you know, getting the materials to actually build it is what's going to, you know, take the long time. All right, one right there. And six. We'll put one right here. Come on. There we go. And one right here. Maybe I will make one more. I think one more finishes it. Well, kind of finishes it. We still have more stuff to build over here, so... Yeah, let's just make one more. Oh, uh, we still have... We can still make a couple more items. That's pretty cool. While I'm waiting for that to be made, why don't we go ahead and give these things some water? I know one of these is almost out of water. I just don't remember which one. Maybe not. Well, this one's kind of low. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, and then this goes right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these... Uh, these wall pieces up. Like this right here. This is a door. So I gotta. I guess I can figure out where the door is going to go. Um, I guess the door could go like, you know, right here. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where I put it because I can always move it later. I think one more back. Come on, where is it? Right, it's clipping in there, but not here. There we go. Alright, and then we'll move this up top. 
And like I said, this is like this is like a part where I could I could kind of climb up and um, fight the enemy as they're trying to kill me. Uh, you know, this is more base defense stuff, which you know could have been a problem this episode if that guy spot. I know he saw me. I don't. I don't. That's weird that he didn't attack. I mean, I'm happy he didn't, but still weird. All right. I guess we'll just put that right there, and that's the kind of idea of this. This is backwards. So let's uh, put this on right, and then I think we're going to call it a video. This. Oh yeah, let's make the animal trap first, before we uh, call it. Okay, and then put this back, like so. There we go. And that's the idea, let me come up here. I probably won't have two windows next to each other because it exposes me too much, but uh, this will be a really good, I gotta figure out how where, where I'm gonna put windows and stuff. Uh, there'll probably be a window here. This probably won't be a window. I'll probably put the other window back here. That way I can kind of back up. And I've got like almost full range of the entire uh, kill field with this window alone. So that is really, really nice. All right, what do I need for an animal trap? Uh, oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Uh, let's get some water. It is the summer, so I've been drinking a lot of water. Uh, this. One more of these. One of these bad boys. And we take this and we make an animal trap. The animal trap, as far as I understand, works exactly like the um, the fish trap. You just have to keep repairing it and stuff. So I'm probably going to catch a lot of animals. I'm, I'm really doing this to catch animals to put in my, my uh, animal house. But, oh, by the way, I burnt some... Uh, some crayfish. Oopsie. There we go. And let's go ahead and put this thing down. Uh, you know what's funny? I don't know what to bait it with. I didn't even think about that. Shoot. Well, oh well. I think the best place to put it would be right here. You don't want to put it like too close to you, I'd imagine. So that seems like a good spot for it. And, oh, you can use medicinal plants? Medical plants? All right. I think medical plants is... Probably the way to go. Uh, medical plants are really useful for making biofuel. Uh, but it, it that's where all your medical plants are going to go if you make biofuel. Um, the thing is, I don't use them for biofuel. So I think I'll, I'll probably use some medical plants. Uh, one, two, three. Let's put three in there. All right. So I feel like we've got a lot done today. I'm very happy with my progress. And I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.